Okay. Right. How's that looking, Glyn? Just need to adjust it. Just need to adjust slightly. it slightly. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, keep your level. Oh, perfect. Yes. There you go. Morning. There you go. Morning. Hello. Oh. So yesterday we called it back from the news team. Yes, you did. So it's now two one to news. Don't remind me. And uh, yeah, we're uh, well. No we pressure. Could, if we could draw today, that means we could still take the wing, Lynn. Can tomorrow, I just, can I just Emily. keep quiet through this? Well, we're just about to go on air uh, now, so. I've no chance. I never. <laughs> Here we go. Carly Ray Jepsen's Call Me Maybe on Isle of Wight Radio's Topping in the Morning with Glyn and Hayley and Charlotte this morning as well. Uh, good morning and hello to um, all of our viewers on Facebook Live this morning. Yes, good morning. I'm hoping we're live anyway. You're saying that we're not? Well, I don't know. Well, according to this, it says live. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. I'm hoping that that's right and that you haven't just given me a dud phone here to yeah. record it on. <laughs> I've, been, I've been known to do live on the wrong wrong page sometimes. Brilliant, time. okay. Uh, right then, it is headline or hearsay. Now, it sits quite nicely this morning because yes. news team went 2-0 up Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Breakfast managed to get one back yesterday. Yeah. So at the moment, currently 2-1. I'm thinking, potentially, we could do a West Ham here and it <laughs> yeah. could be going from 2-0 down to come back and win 3-2. Yeah. Like they did last night against yes. Spurs. Yeah. Possibly. Uh, so... Should we just do it? Yeah, the screens are on the wrong way. Oh, for oh, yeah. goodness sake. How did you manage that? I don't know. Slightly concerned, Hayley. Because the only other way I can do it is like that. Well, if you hold it. Yeah, that's the only way I can do it. Is it turned around yet? No. Do you know what? We'll just go with it. Just <laughs> Not a lot we can do about it, if I'm perfectly honest. Mm. I don't know how you managed to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry if you're hurting your necks watching us. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it did kind of work, but then yeah, we're cutting out the... Which is fine. Oh. Right. I can't be trusted to do anything. <laughs> you're pretty much right there, if okay. I'm honest. Let's just leave it like that for now, because otherwise... <laughs> I'm gonna... Let's just do it, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> yes. A bear has had three kilograms of tissue removed from its tongue after an illness caused it to swell, becoming monstrously enlarged. Nian Tu, an Asian brown bear, was suffering from a mysterious condition that caused his tongue to become so large it would drag along the floor as he tried to play with his brother. Vets from Edinburgh University travelled to him and operated for four hours to remove tissue from the bear's tongue, helping him to be able to live a more comfortable life. Is that headline or hearsay? That sounds horrible. That does. However. Sounds really horrible. Now, I've heard of, um, like, a toxic shock thing, you know, if it gets mm. stung by a bee or something yeah. like that and it... Like and you wouldn't be able to breathe. No, no. But but having it too long that it drops out of your mouth. That's just. I don't even want to think about it to yeah, be that's perfectly just honest. Not right. Ooh, what do we think though? Headline or hearsay? Well, what does Facebook Sh Sh think? Charlotte's gone very, very no, yeah. poker face. The reason yeah. I have is because I always give it away. Apparently, Paul always uh, says my my facial expression gives it away. I'm really? hiding behind my microphone now. <laughs> you are hiding. I know. And not making eye contact. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Which leads me to sort of suggest that possibly it could be a headline. A headline? Possibly. Do you think headline? Um, yeah, I mean, quite a few people are commenting on Facebook this morning. Uh, Keith saying 100% hearsay. David saying hearsay. Uh, Julie Hollister saying hearsay. Sarah Thompson, headline. What do you think? I think... Hearsay. Hear <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a hearsay. You think it's a hearsay? Yeah. Should we go hearsay? Hearsay. It's a headline. Oh, I'm Charlotte. just saying. Just saying. Charlotte. You got it all to do, Hayley. All to do. Let's do it. Not good. A furious mum stormed into a local supermarket and took items from the shelves without paying after her online delivery failed to turn up three times. Rachel Bullivan waited more than 36 hours for a shop to arrive before she took matters into her own hands. She had ordered a £150 shop, but on each occasion she was given a delivery slot, it never showed up. So annoyed, she marched in, filled her trolley and walked out to the shock of shop workers. Is that headline or hearsay? I can share a frustration, I have to say. Oh, that is not you the know? right thing to do, though. But it's not the right thing to do. But if you look, at, look, look upon it like this, if she'd already ordered the shopping, £150 worth of shopping, she'd already and paid, paid for it. And paid for it. She'd already paid for it. Oh, true. 
hadn't she? So she feels that actually... She didn't actually not, steal yeah. it. She's... I don't know. What do you reckon? Hmm. Julie's saying headline. Yeah. Headline. Keith. Keith that's what Keith, I would do. That's what you would do. <laughs> Keith, I'm with you. I think you're scared. I'm a right scaredy cat of things like that. You are, I'd be you? like, excuse me. Hi, I want to be help. I think really? A technical problem on your... Uh, your website. <laughs> Either that or the driver's got lost. Yeah. 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 I, I have to say that I think I would probably go and do that. Especially if you it should have been delivered three times. Yeah. She's doing that not making eye contact especially thing again. If, if Yeah. <laughs> 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 Looking anywhere than at us. Uh, I reckon headline. See, on radio I could have got away with that until you pointed that out. Yeah, Thanks for that. That's not a problem. <laughs> I'm here to help. So you're going headline? I'm going headline with this, I yes. think, personally. Yeah. Hayley Moore, she's saying headline. Marion saying headline. Keith, obviously, that's what he would do as yeah. well. So let's go headline. It's hearsay. No! Yes! Oh! <sighs> so smug. Right. That means you've won for the week. <laughs> Oh, I'm in shock. Sweet. I'm in shock. That's good. Well, let's do the last one just for fun then. I'm not talking. <laughs> Stop pouting. Curtains could soon be history after experts invented the first cheap-to-make windows which turn black at the flitch of a a flick of a switch. Researchers have developed a technique which can quickly change the opacity of a window, turning it cloudy, clear or somewhere in between using an electrical current. In the new development, the window is made up of a sheet of glass or plastic sandwiched between transparent layers coated with silver wires. Is that headline or hearsay? Don't care. <laughs> Oh, someone's a sore loser there, don't isn't care. he? I'm, I'm gutted. And people are, are coming on, are commenting on Facebook now going, Really? Yeah. Really? Mm. It's so, are you sure? It is. Mm. Did you just change certain elements of I that, I think you did. It? No, I did not. There was, too mu there was too much content in there for it, it not to be It might have happened somewhere, you know, at mm. some point. Oh, well, then it's headline. Well, not necessarily. No, because I've never heard <laughs> it happening. And, and, I, and, you know, I named a woman and I named the price as a, you know... What are the chances of all that information being exactly the same if it did happen? In my yeah. defence. <laughs> I'm yeah. very defensive of my victory here because it doesn't happen very often. So this one with curtains, they're quite clever with... I don't, I wasn't listening. Thanks. God. To be fair, right, I wasn't let's listening. Just, let's I, just, I just so, heard something going on about windows that might right. go black out. So we've got the key saying headline, Marion saying hearsay, Graham Robinson saying headline and David saying headline. So let's let's go headline. Go headline, but can I just ask, are we talking about windows that can black themselves out so you don't need curtains? Yeah. Yeah, well that's been around for ages. Oh, so headline. Well, not the blackout windows, Not it's not material. What? Well, if you'd listened, you'd know. <laughs> <laughs> let's just go headline. Oh, I got told gosh. off. Let's just go headline. What is it? Headline, but too late. <laughs> but we still got that one. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Can't believe we've just lost. I know. We oh. were, last time I did this show, victorious. Yeah, we was smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Good They've morning definitely to... up their game, haven't they? Oh. Good morning to Keith and Samantha as well, who were playing Headliner here, so they just t said good morning to us. So I thought, uh, morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Would you believe that? Can't quite believe that, but there we Bad go. Bad time. Have a good day, everybody. And... Uh, well, Glyn will be back tomorrow morning with Emily and... I might not bother. Wait, <laughs> see you later. Bye. Glyn, do you want to turn it off then? Uh, Bye.